The baseline guide for water and steam systems, this is the third version, and it is by far the best document that exists in the world for pharmaceutical water. And it encompasses all the different pharmacopoeias that we have to, to comply to uh, for compendial issues. So this particular document is not only an incredible resource and reference, it is also an incredible application of subject matter experts who have taken their time in order to produce a 260 page document that covers everything that you ever wanted to know about water and steam systems. Its value is an easy reference in order to show how to meet compendial issues and how to design systems that will not only perform, it will perform for the next 20 years. So now that the European Pharmacopoeia, the United States Pharmacopoeia, the Japan Pharmacopoeia, and the China Pharmacopoeia are now harmonized, we now have the availability for people to choose all different kinds of methodologies to produce WFI rather than only by distillation. That was one of the main aspects of the changes of this current document. So water for injection primarily was using the gold standard, which was distillation for eons. So the idea of distillation and distilled water goes back almost 200 years in the pharmacopoeia. The difference today is that we have different technologies in order to purify water, which allows us to have multiple modules that can be used in order to define WFI water quality. It is the quality of the water which defines WFI, not its method of production. So what we've done since 2002 is given the industry a lot of latitude. As long as you meet the criteria for four different values of microbial, endotoxin, TOC, and conductivity, and you meet the microbial values, you have WFI water. It doesn't make any difference how it's generated. We are giving the industry that latitude to make those decisions that are, they would consider best for their particular product line. This particular guide offers you the most comprehensive explanation of design, QBD, uh, regulatory. It has probably the best chapter on microbial that exists in the pharmaceutical industry uh, as far as knowledge of what needs to be done from a microbial standpoint. Everyone in the pharmaceutical industry is a water expert. Every individual, every person in the pharmaceutical industry needs water in order to produce pharmaceuticals whether they be oral solid dosage, liquid filled, 4WFI water, even shampoo and over-the-counter products all use water. All of us need to be knowledgeable of the water that goes into our products, and we are the people who help set those standards to make sure that you are compliant.